Thank you for staying with us. Our next special interview is on Premier Academy. Premier Academy um, is one of the very special schools in the SET. <laughs> oh yes, with us, and we have joining us now uh, Roland Enon. He is a principal, Premier Academy, Dubai Abuja. Good to have you here with us. Good morning, thank you. Also joining us is Mrs. Oluremi Faohemi. She is the lead director, Premier Academy, Abuja. You're welcome. Thank you very much. And I'll say happy International Women's Day. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, let's start with um, the principal. I know. I mean, how worried are you when you hear the numbers who go to seek education outside Nigeria, even at the high school level? I wouldn't say I'm worried. I think it's it's an opportunity that that every, that should be available to everybody. And I don't see the fact that people go out to 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 seek education outside necessarily as a as a problem. But what I do think is that we should we should make our education system here in Nigeria attractive enough, so so that if people decide ultimately not to not to go abroad, they still have a good quality education system here that can provide equal opportunities for all of them, and the kind of platform that will enable them to 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 compete on a level playing field anywhere in the world when when and if they decide to to venture outside. Mm. For, for those who travel because they feel there is not enough quality education available in the country. As the principal of Premier Academy, what would you say to them? Then it's our task then to, to, to change things then. That's the challenge that we have to provide that, that standard. And we at Premier Academy, I think we, we pride ourselves in the, in the ability to not only to set standards, but also to, to strive to, to constantly raise standards. We, we are very reluctant to sit to rest on our laurels and think that we've arrived. I think that would be very dangerous. So it's, it's a question of, of, like I said, setting the standards, raising the standards, raising the bar, and constantly challenging ourselves to do better. All right, Mr. Lou, uh, Mrs. Lou, I mean, let's, let's look at uh, the attributes of Premier in itself. I mean, um, setting the standard is one thing, but people want to know what are those standards? Okay, um, for, um, first of all, discipline. It's major. The discipline begins from waking up early in the morning, being able to get yourself to go to work at the right time. You know, so punctuality is very important. So part of discipline, um, getting to do things that you're supposed to do at the right time, com complying with what the law says, because you're going to become a citizen of the nation, and that's where it starts at such an early age, cut them young, give them what they need to be in the future, and then they live with it, and they grow up with it, they become good citizens of the nation, and they have less problems as they grow older, and have their own generation coming up. Mm. So. All right, uh, Roland, how has Premier Academy been able to satisfy the needs, educational needs of parents who have brought the children to your school in the past 10 years? Well, first of all, I think it's engaging in that dialogue with the parents to know to know exactly what they want. And at the end of the day, they are major stakeholders in the whole process. So in order to know what they want, we need to engage in a dialogue with them. And then it's, it's to actually roll out the program in the way and constantly refer back to them to see. We, we report back to them. It's constantly reporting. It's constantly monitoring student progress. And uh, we have a quite a, a strong and vibrant PTA. Which, which also acts as a, as a barometer, if you like, of how we're doing. So I think it's, it's, it's engaging in that, in that two-way, that bi-directional engagement, really. Uh, tell us about the curriculum of the school as well, because I think that's um, also a, a very major barometer people look at. I know there's a curriculum provided nationally for yes. the secondary school in the US, but how do you internalize that, and how does that bring the best out of the students from Premier Academy? Okay, first and foremost, Premier Academy is an international school. So what, what we've been able to, to achieve, and we're still actually refining the process, is to, is to run a parallel hybrid curriculum based on the, the standard, the national Nigerian curriculum, but also offering elements of, of the British curriculum as well, which again, I'd like to refer back to your original question about those who wish to travel outside of the country. What that does is then it provides an opportunity for those who, who are you know, so inclined to, to, to travel abroad, they can actually go abroad. The, uh, m many of our students, I think our, our benchmark, what we're very proud of is that after the process, many of our students have been able to, to attend prestigious institutions in, in the USA, in the UK, in Canada, and even further afield as far, as far afield as Australia even. So I think 
and it's all down to the kind of curriculum that you offer. Now, what I, do, what I would say is that the Nigerian curriculum and the British curriculum, the, 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 the demands that they make on the students are very different, so it's a, it's a very delicate balancing act. Mm. Which